hope all of you are fine in today's video we will be discussing about various questions of regular expressions so regular expressions as i have already told in my previous uh, lecture uh, previous video uh, that it is an algebraic expression of uh, the acceptance of strings for a particular finite automata like uh, there are many many examples that can be quoted but we will be taking uh, some specific examples uh, and uh, we are taking two input symbols which is a and b so the very first question uh, of this particular uh, particular video is that we have to create regular expression for any number of a's and b's any number of a's and b's means i will take all possible number of a's all possible number of b's and any combination of a's and b's guys this is only possible if you have a finite automata like this you not uh, initial any number of a's any number of b's any combinations of a's and b's and if i'm talking about or uh, the loop of either a and b e a or b so there is a comma between them and we have a loop of a comma b and again we know that this is a closure so anything regarding that the answer would be a plus b whole star a plus b whole star means you will have null acceptable you have a single a acceptable single b acceptable a b acceptable b a acceptable and any combination of a and b triple a acceptable so many number of combinations are there so this is very very first important example if i have any number of a's and any number of b's any combinations of a's and b's uh, then again uh, this is how your regular expression is created uh, the second example of this is uh, we are going to create a regular expression with uh, of string length string length mm, we can take a string length of exactly 2 exactly 2 means uh, that you know we have a particular string length which is given to us and which is 2 so uh, you have two uh, variables a or a and b are input symbols so how you are going to uh, write just create the regular set first regular set means uh, the set of answers the set of answers of two length string would be either aa or ab or it can be ba it can be bb because this is length 2 this is length 2 length 1 length 2 length 1 length 2 again length 1 length 2 it means uh, that this is my set of answers and if it is a set of answers i can also write them as aa plus ab plus ba plus bb mean means these are all set of answers uh, guys if i just take a common a is a concatenated portion of this a plus b and over here i can take b common i can get a plus b so i am basically getting the string length as a plus b and a plus b right so uh, just notice this thing properly this is actually your regular expression see this is also a regular expression but since i have used the concept of concatenation in place i have got string length exactly to as a plus b and a plus b so uh, kindly note this particular part uh, that we are basically using this concept to our good effect uh, why because uh, it will be related in the next uh, like uh, in the next question also if i uh, have a question of uh, creating a regular expression of string length exactly one exactly one means one string length is there so the answer would be if i have to calculate the answer either a or b this is my regular set and what will be its regular expression the regular expression is a plus b if you remember the previous question uh, for string length 2 your regular expression was a plus b and a plus b uh, string length 1 this is for string length 1 this is for string length 
सो वॉट इफ द क्वेश्चन ऑफ स्ट्रिंग लेंथ एग्जैक्टली थ्री कम्स तो हाउ विल यू बेसिकली डू सो इट्स वेरी सिंपल दिस इज स्ट्रिंग लेंथ वन ए प्लस बी ए प्लस बी वी हैव स्ट्रिंग लेंथ टू सो क्लियरली द आंसर ऑफ दैट वुड बी ए प्लस बी ए प्लस बी एंड ए प्लस बी राइट आई होप दिस पॉइंट इज क्लियर टू ऑल ऑफ यू सो दिस इज योर फोर्थ पर्टिकुलर क्वेश्चन द फिफ्थ क्वेश्चन कैन बी स्ट्रिंग लेंथ L at least two. At least two means minimum string length is two, and maximum it can be anything. So it means if I have to get the answer, it would be either A A, A B, B A, B B. This is for sure it will happen, and after that anything can happen. Like any string length can come. It can be A A A. It can be A A B, B A A, B B B. so we have so many options which are there this is a infinite a kind of uh, strings that will form after it so firstly you need to design for string length at least two so for string length at least two we have already discussed in our third question which is uh, which is actually in your second question which is a plus b and a plus b after that anything happens anything means any combinations of a and b if i'm talking about any combinations of a's and b's any values of a is any values of b any combinations of a plus b from the very first question we clearly have designed this particular part a plus b whole star see this is for length 2 and this is for any number of any number of a's and b's can come after so i'm putting this star after i hope this point is clear to all of you so we have the next particular part is string length at most two at most two means we have to be very specific with the certain answers why right? because at most two we have to because there is not a infinite number of strings we have just have to firstly write the regular set regular set means set of answers at most two means uh, the length can be 0 the length can be 1 a comma b uh, the length can be 2 also a um, maximum 2 which is a a a b b a b b so if i this is my regular set and if i have to create my regular expression it would be null plus a plus b plus a a plus a b plus b a plus b b so if i uh, write them in the form of regular expression i have already written them in my second question so it is always written as a plus b a plus b i can write it as a plus b also and i can write it as null so this can be my answer so this is for string length at most two fine so the next question would be the next question the next question would be uh, even length strings even length string means uh, see the strings can be null obviously uh, it can be uh, it can be a a a b b a b b after that it can be a a a a b a a a b b b b so many answers are there guys you don't need to write all the answers if there are so many infinite answers clearly uh, over here these are set of answers which are there we have even length string means minimum you can create uh, the logic for two so this is definitely even length string but again it is saying that it can have any number of uh, any number of even length string so it is also asking null so a plus b a plus b from this side uh, this is a containing minimum two length string but i want to repeat this process again and again it means the process is repetitive when the process is repetitive it is clearly 
we can put a star over here this star ensures that at least minimum zero length string is acceptable then a plus b so see this if if it has to be evaluated it is like a plus b a plus b if star value is zero if let's say if i put star value is zero so it will give me null so null was my answer if my star value is one if my star value is one so what answer i will get i will get a plus b and a plus b it means two length string if my star value is two so star value is two means i will get a plus b a plus b and if it is two means that i will basically repeat the same process again means a plus b a plus b this is for one time and a plus b a plus b it is for second time it clearly means this is length four right so if i put star value as three it will be six so it means it is entirely even length string so this is my required answer hopefully this is clear so we have uh, the next uh, part is odd lens see uh, odd lens string i will always you know in odd lens string what i need to do is i need to think one thing properly that null answer will not be there so like if i have to get the answers it will not be a null either it can be single a single b it can be three a's a b b uh a a b also b a a so this is odd length string is also it is something which is uh, which is also infinite number of odd length strings we can create but one thing is certain uh, we are definitely uh, we are definitely going not going to have even length string but we have to think that how we can get odd length string it's very simple if any even length string is concatenated with any odd length string the answer would be odd length string means like if i am writing a plus b and a plus b so we have this is actually an even length string now if this is concatenated with any odd length string concatenated means it is like in concatenation with odd length string so if i just take the example uh, a plus b and a plus b is actually a a plus a b plus b a plus b b so if it is let's say concatenated with a and b in the last so the answer it will get that double a is concatenated with a is a a b uh, double a concatenated with a is uh, triple a a b is concatenated with a is a b a right b a is concatenated with a it will give me b a a b b and a are concatenated it will give me b b a uh, if i am getting a a concatenated with b it is giving me a a b a b concatenated with b is giving me a b b uh, it will give me b a b and it will give me triple b and if you noticed one thing in this particular question that you have got all the strings as an answer as odd length string because a a a length is 3 this is also length 3 all every possible three uh, length string is there so it is very much evident that if this answer is giving me if this answer is giving me odd length string because obviously it is length uh, even from the previous questions we have multiplied this whole particular part and we got uh, odd length string means length uh, string length is equal to 3 so this is clearly Uh, the odd length string we have got, but what if we have to get length as five? So we are not going to multiply four with one, and then we are going to do it. Obviously, this is something which is repetitive. And repetition, if I put star over here, so star over here means that any number, the any value of even length string will come. So this is for even length string. and this is obviously 1 a and 1 b it is odd string so answer would always be odd length string even you put star value as 0 even if you put it as 0 so it will give me null so null concatenated with a plus b is null concatenated with anything is anything so answer would be a plus b only and a plus b is odd length string so that's why 
दिस इज माई राइट आंसर वी हैव गॉट कंकैटनेशन ऑफ ए प्लस बी ए प्लस बी होल स्टार होल स्टार मीन्स ऑल इवन लेंथ स्ट्रिंग्स एंड कंकैटिनेटेड विद एनी ऑड लेंथ स्ट्रिंग द आंसर वुड बी ऑल लेंथ स्ट्रिंग एंड वी हैल गेट ऑल द आंसर ऑफ ऑल लेंथ स्ट्रिंग्स राइट so uh, we have the next question which is our very ninth question just a minute ninth question says that uh, your length is divisible by so length is divisible by 3 it means uh, we have to create a even length string, uh, sorry we have to create a length which is uh, divisible by 3 and divisible by 3 means uh, create it as a multiple of 3 so multiple of 3 would see multiple of 1 is a plus b multiple of 2 is a plus b a plus b by because this is something even length string and even length string uh, including null if i put whole star over here and i will get a plus b so this is all the three this is entirely divisible by 3 but this is only for 3 we want to get it for null also we want to get it for 3 we want to get it for 6 9 so it means this is infinite some number values if anything is repeated i will just put star over here star would mean if i put star value as 0 we will get null if i put star value as 1 we will get three length string which is also divisible by 3 and if i put star value as 2 let's say if i put this star value as 2 it means i will have the occurrence of this very thing two times this is one time this is second time so by default this is occurring for two times and if i just have to see 1 2 3 4 5 6 so it means it is clearly divisible by 3 uh, and the total length is 6 length string right so the answer is yes. i hope this is clear so we have the next particular part is length is equal to 2 mod 3 Two mod three means that I should uh, see two mod three answer is actually two. So it means if I divide by three, remainder is two length string, right? This is my basic purpose. So divide by three just create an uh, regular expression for divisible by three, a plus b. A plus B, so divisible by three entirely, guys. So it is star. So that is was the previous question we have done. Divisible by three, we have done divisible by three, and remainder is two length string. So what is how you create a two length string? It is clearly A plus B and A plus B. Clearly, it is a uh, length is for this is actually two. So this is how you basically create it, right? so we have the next particular part where what we can design we can get it uh, that we can start with anything if it starts with ab so guys if it starts with ab anything that comes after it is not a constraint clearly starts with ab and any combinations of a's and b's can come after it it can be one answer if let's say if they are asking ends with ba so ends with ba means any combination that comes after uh, see it will end with ba so i will write ba in the end and anything that comes before it is not a problem right so this is one thing uh, the next question that we can do is uh, the 13 this is a very interesting question starts and ends with different symbol different symbol means my strings can get either if it is starting with a it must end with b and if it is starting with b it must end with a so it means if my string is starting with a anything that comes after it not a problem but it must end with b this is one answer 
plus and why right why i'm writing plus because this is can be my second answer also if it starts with b anything can comes in between it's not a problem it must end with a because this is different symbol starts and ends with different symbol a and b are different symbols b and a are also different symbols so this is my correct answer right so we have the next particular question with starts and ends with same symbol guys same symbol means there are many many things that you need to consider actually so starts and ends with same symbol means that if i'm starting with a i must end with a if i'm starting with b i must end with b so there are very very basic constraints that you need to consider so let, let's say this can be one answer uh, i start with a anything that comes in between i end with b i start with b anything that uh, sorry i uh, start with and ends with same symbol so if i start with a so let me uh, give an over overall overview if it starts with a anything that comes in between not a problem it must end with a anything that starts with b and anything that can come in between must end with b this is one answer right but we have to take minimum possible answers also guys if i just write a over here it starts with a and ends with a this is also the same symbol if i write a b over here it also starts and ends with b and what if i now write null null also means the same thing guys null also means the same we have started with null and ended with null so that's what our question was right so this is uh, one question we can you know do more questions also uh, with the uh, okay exactly two a's and any b's guys if we if you remember the automate of it uh in the previous videos i am just posting those links in the previous video also so that you can get hold of that so we have got uh, if if i basically do it in a correct way exactly two a's and any number of b's so guys what can be the uh, regular expression of this see you are getting any number of b's then you are having a right then you are having any number of b's then you are having a then you are having any number of b's so this is exactly two a's you have written and any number of b's are coming so this is one uh, particular regular expression uh, we can have another regular expression as at least two a's and any b's so at least two a's again if if you created an automata q1 a q2 so any number of uh, b's then a any number of b's then a then you are having a plus b whole star so all are in concatenation after b a is coming after b a is coming so this is all concatenation guys uh, previous video i have already explained regarding an any number of these. so there can be this question also at most two a's and any b's so guys this has to be done very carefully why i'll let you know uh, so we have got b a q1 a uh over here b a and q2 we got b so if i'm just going to write i'm writing b star a b star a b star so guys this is i have mentioned for uh, see this answer i have mentioned for at most two a's so for two a's i have uh, written for exactly two a's i have created this but what if my question says at most two a's means maximum two a's so that i have written uh, maximum two a's i have written uh, then what if for one a it would be b star a b star this is one a because for 
for maximum two A's. It can be two A's. It can be one A's. It can be uh, zero A's also. So for zero A's, the answer is B star. So we got maximum two A's. We got one A, and over here we got zero A's. So this is my correct answer for this particular question. So guys, I hope uh, this video you have got all the ideas of how to create a regular expression. You must know how to create a regular expression from regular set. The link of the previous video will be uh, will be there in my description box. Uh, importantly, there are many many questions. So if you know how to create a finite automata, you can actually relate to make regular expression. But one important note, guys. That yes, if there are different uh, DFAs for same problem, there can be different regular expressions for the same problem as well. Fine. So this must be uh, must be taken into the consideration. So I guess uh, hopefully this whole part is clear to you. Uh, if you have any sort of doubt, post in comment section. Kindly like, share, and subscribe. Thank you very much.